I just thought I'd um, take this opportunity uh, whilst I am injured to talk about injury. So I've done two things this last month. One is I've slowly developed tennis elbow in my left arm. So that's, that's mainly happened because of doing muscle ups. So I've had to be a bit careful in terms of um, pull movements, especially pull ups. The main thing I hurt, to be honest, is squats. Don't know why. I think it's just a position that my elbow's in. Uh, and then secondly, I have pulled my groin, well, popped it. I was on a leg press. And usually I use a tennis ball between my legs, so it takes the pressure off the hip and the knees because the, the legs are forced look close together and you're forced to put the pressure uh, on the central point and on the outside sweep of the quad a lot more rather than the joints. And I wasn't doing that. And I was doing a leg press and bop. It went. So today I'm going up to Tribe Fitness to see Kat, um, who's going to have a look at my groin and hopefully have a little look at my, my tennis elbow as well. Um, and then what I'm also going to include within this video is two workouts that I've done this week, which have sort of um, worked around the injury. So just because you're injured um, doesn't mean you can't do a few bits as well. It just obviously depends on how severe the injury is. So for me, I did a leg workout yesterday, which was quite light. I'll pop that at the end of this clip just so you can have a little look at something to do. If you've got like a groin injury or a little niggle or something like that of, of impact where you've got a bad knee or bad hip or anything like that where you're looking to keep the impact off the joints then have a little look at the workout and have a go of it. It's only short and sweet uh, and then I'm going to be doing a workout tonight. Um, so yeah have a look at that, and that as well and then I'll probably be doing some mobility work just to I'm foam rolling to try and sort of ease up the area uh, of what I've already been doing then what Kat will probably give as well. So I've run through, through that sequence of the sessions for all, the day and um, I'll keep you posted a little bit later. So ideally what you want is knee to hip should be either parallel or ideally <laughs> So, I just finished the end of that workout and felt pretty good after it. Well, the leg did anyway after seeing Kat, it's really sort of like um, got some of the tension out of my hamstring and my groin. So, I was even able to do some like the deadlift stuff, uh, the plyometric jumps, and the sled, the bike, stuff like that. So, the groin's feeling very good at the moment. The only thing I haven't done, which usually sets it off, is squats. <coughs> so, I left them. Although I've got now I've got some tape on my arm as well, just to take that tension away from where I've got a sort of golfer's elbow at the moment. But overall, it was a decent workout and it didn't put too much stress, but surprisingly, on, on my groin. So um, it just shows like sort of looking after yourself a little bit, going every now and again, which I probably don't do enough of, um, to get some treatment or massage and do some mobility work, which I, I missed off the start of my workout, um, but which I will throw on, on the page at some point is uh, really beneficial for, for moving forward when you think you've got something which is longer term, which we can sort of be rehabbed and, and nipped in the bud as, as soon as possible. So yeah, good workout, have, have a little look at it. I'll put the description of it above um, and then just save if you want to have a go sort of later on in the week. Um, so catch you later.